What are Kongs? Kong is arguably the most famous brand in the world of dog toys, and that's largely due to this odd looking lumpy red toy. This is the classic Kong, one of the most popular and versatile dog toys out there. The classic Kong, as seen here, is made of heavy duty, natural rubber. What's amazing about the Kong is that it can function as a standard dog toy, as well as a puzzle food dispenser. Best of all, it's simple, cheap, and easy to stuff. A stuffed Kong refers to filling a Kong toy with food for your pooch. Some stuffed Kongs might just contain kibble, but today we'll be upping our Kong game by exploring different recipes. There are several reasons why stuffed Kongs are so fantastic. They keep your dog busy and provide mental stimulation. They can slow down a dog and prevent him from eating too quickly, which can cause bloat. They can keep a dog occupied when you're busy with company or doing chores around the house. They're also great for calming down overly excited or over aroused dogs. For dogs with mild separation anxiety, giving a stuffed Kong when you leave the house can distract the dog from your absence and can create a positive association around alone time. Just note that this won't work for severe separation anxiety as those dogs will be too panicked and frightened to eat it all. Now we're going to dig into some of our favorite Kong recipes, but before we do, make sure to like and subscribe for more awesome canine content. For your first Kong session with your dog, keep it simple by just putting some kibble in the toy and letting your dog knock out the goodies. This is the easiest way for your dog to learn that the Kong means things are about to get tasty. Once your dog has gotten curious about the Kong, you can start experimenting with different Kong recipes. Let's start with a classic combo. Stuff the Kong with kibble and seal the top with a layer of peanut butter. If you're squeamish about a messy floor, this recipe is probably the least messy option since it's just kibble and peanut butter, which is firmer than most of the other stuffable ingredients we'll detail next. Another option, which I tend to prefer, is to fill up two thirds of the Kong with kibble and stuff the last third with wet dog food. For bonus points, freeze the Kong for longer lasting enjoyment. When I can freeze Kongs, I almost always do. They last so much longer that way. Recipe number two, the parfait. With the parfait, you'll load the Kong up with different layers of tasty noms for your dog to enjoy. For example, I might start with a layer of kibble, followed by a layer of chunky dog food, then another layer of kibble, and then a layer of canned pumpkin. Sometimes they'll add a cute little kibble pattern on the top because why not? Your dog deserves it. For stuffed Kongs with liquid ingredients, I'll usually store the Kong upright in an empty dog food can to prevent any messes. For our next recipe, we have kibble stew. For kibble stew, start off by putting a straw through the Kong that exits through the small bottom hole. You'll always want to add this step when you're using the liquid. Since we're using beef broth for this recipe, the straw will make sure that the hole stays clear. The small hole is what prevents the Kong from creating a dangerous air seal that could potentially suck in your dog's tongue. Once the straw is in place, you'll fill up the Kong with kibble, just like you did in the first recipe. But instead of sealing the top with peanut butter, pour in some beef broth and then freeze overnight. If you're using a plastic straw, you can also tape the straw against the bottom of the Kong, or put peanut butter around the straw to help keep it in place. For our veggie Kong, we'll be using carrots and celery. Chop your vegetables up and layer them into the Kong putting a smattering of dog-friendly peanut butter in between layers as a bonus. Frozen green beans and chopped sweet potatoes work great too. Finish it up by sealing the top with peanut butter. For our fruit Kong, we'll be using blueberries, non-fat yogurt, chopped apple slices, banana, and some oatmeal I had left over from breakfast. We'll start out with some blueberries, followed by some banana, which I'm going to stuff down a bit, and then I'll add some yogurt for a wet moisture layer. Next, I'll go ahead and add some apple slices, a little more banana, which I'll push down, and I'll seal the hole with some oatmeal. I might also add a blueberry at the top because I'm a little extra, and it helps me remember what kind of stuffed Kong this is. Fruit Kongs are an anytime snack, while kibble Kongs are for meals only. Another popular Kong recipe is to load up a Kong two thirds of the way up and then shove a bully stick through the middle of the hole for a lollipop looking design. This is a fun treat to give your dog when you're looking to keep them busy. 
If you freeze a loaded Kong with a bully stick inside between licking up the frozen food and gnawing on the bully stick, your dog should be kept nice and busy for quite some time. Plus, adding a handle to a Kong can make it a bit easier for your dog to pick up and handle the frozen Kong. If your dog seems to be struggling, try adding a bully stick handle or any other long protrusion like a Kong Ziggy or a Greenie. Now let's go through a few tips and tricks for getting the most out of your stuffed Kongs. If you're looking for a quick and easy way to get more canine engagement out of your Kong, the Kong Company makes these nifty chew caps that can help keep your dog occupied. This is an easy way to upgrade any standard stuffed Kong into a long-lasting recipe. Afraid your tough chewer will decimate a standard Kong? Try the Black Kong for extra chew-proof power. If you have a pup, try the Kong Puppy. This Kong is made of a softer rubber that won't hurt your little one's delicate chompers. Want an easier way to seal the top of your Kong? Try these awesome Kong Squeezables. They're easy to use and mess-free, keeping your kitchen nice and clean. If you're feeling a little extra, you can seal the top with a Kong treat. Very cute. Want to give your dog something tasty but don't want a mess? Get your dog off in the kitchen while they enjoy their stuffed Kong. Or give your dog a Kong in their crate for a quick and easy crate training game to build that positive association around the crate. Besides the Kong Classic, Kong makes several other great puzzle toys, like the Kong Stuff a Ball, which lets you insert a long treat in the middle and fill in the mini slots. Plus, the tiny rubber crevices help keep your dog's teeth clean. Kong also makes an extreme goodie bone using the Kong Black rubber that's extra tough. This toy also has slots you can fill with a bully stick or load up with Kong squeezables. And then of course there's our dinner time favorite, the Kong Wobbler. With this toy, you just load up the wobbler with your dog's kibble and then watch him knock and nose the weighted toy around to dislodge the kibble pieces. This is a really simple and quick toy that makes dinner time 10 times more fun for your dog. If you don't have a Kong yet, or heck, even if you do, I'd suggest trying out Kong Box, Kong's canine subscription box. Each month it comes packed with awesome Kong toys that are famous for their durability, along with high value treats to keep up with training and other Kong add-ons. Plus your first box always includes the Red Classic Kong, along with two other Kong toys. The box starts at 30 bucks, and with a single Kong toy retailing in the 10 to $20 zone, this box is a pretty sweet deal if you ask me. And if you hate subscriptions, don't worry, you can order a single standalone Kong box too. Check out the link below for details on how to order one. Other great stuffable ingredients include cauliflower, cooked ground meat, meat pâtés like Spam, which work especially great as sealants, canned sardines, canned tuna or canned chicken, cottage cheese, cantaloupe, oranges, cooked rice, quinoa, mashed potatoes, cucumbers, peas, squash, hard-boiled eggs, cat food, and a number of other things. You can also try experimenting with no sugar applesauce and cottage cheese to add moisture instead of beef broth. When stuffing your Kong with peanut butter, make sure you're using a peanut butter that does not contain xylitol, which is toxic for dogs. You can also grab a specialized dog safe peanut butter, like this one from HyperPet. Be careful with beef broth as it can have really high levels of sodium that aren't good for dogs. Make sure you choose a no-sodium or low-sodium beef broth. If all you can find is low-sodium, try watering it down. Make sure you're keeping track of your dog's caloric intake when you give him a stuffed Kong. A big stuffed Kong snack might mean your dog needs to get a smaller dinner. Canine obesity is no joke. Stuffed Kongs are a fun and easy way to add tons of enrichment and mental stimulation to your dog's day. Implementing frozen Kongs into Remy's daily routine has done wonders for some of his behavior issues. When I see Remy getting all over aroused and worked up, I'll just hand him a frozen Kong and he calms himself right down. I can confidently say that stuffed Kongs have changed our lives, so definitely give them a try. Your dog will thank you for it.